Good evening, nightmare junkies. Tonight, we're diving into a story that's igniting social media like a wildfire. It's the topic on everyone's lips, and it's not just another trend. It's another UFO sighting, and this time, it's making waves in Miami. Before we delve into this spine-tingling video, let's take a moment to rewind and remember the events of 2023. Last year, we were all captivated by a mysterious sighting that left us questioning the limits of our understanding. And now, in 2024, history seems to be repeating itself. The streets of Miami have become the latest stage for an otherworldly spectacle that has everyone talking. Is this another visit from our extraterrestrial neighbors, or is there a more earthly explanation? May 1, 2023 will be remembered as the day when the bright lights of Las Vegas were overshadowed by something even more spectacular and mysterious, an unidentified flying object that captivated both locals and visitors alike. One emergency. There's, a, there's like an eight-foot person beside it, and another one's inside, and it has big eyes and looking at us, and it's still there. The object, described as a bright, hovering light with erratic movements, was unlike anything typically seen in the airspace above the city. Videos and photos captured by onlookers show a luminous form shifting in patterns that defy conventional aircraft movements. They said they saw some fall from the sky, they checked their backyard and they saw something with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green, green colored men, uh, not human, with uh, like the eyes were glowing and they did not, it was not a human being. So. Did you see it? Huh? Did you see it? Yeah, me and him side. What'd you see? It was like a, it was like a big creature. A big creature? Yeah, like around 10 feet tall. Because I'm not going to BS you guys. One of my partners said they saw something fall out of the sky too, so that's yeah. why I'm kind of curious. Did you good. see anything good. land see. in your backyard or? They see like a big, that's what they say. They see like a big, uh, like a big, with uh, like a big, like a big, What makes this story particularly compelling is not just what was seen, but who saw it. In a field often met with skepticism, the involvement of law enforcement officers adds a new layer of credibility to the UFO conversation. Are we on the verge of understanding something truly beyond our current comprehension, or is this yet another piece of an ever-growing puzzle that remains unsolved? Yep. No. I'm kind of curious now. I want to. I want to know if there's aliens. I was with the iPhone. I say, was, I, I want to. Like well, like like where did you? Where did they go? Well, they say that. I'm gonna show you. Give a dirt backyard. Can you yeah, show me if there's a? Uh... And I'm sorry. Did you see them go anywhere? No. no you didn't. You saw, did they probably go that way? Hey, did you guys? Hey, this might sound like a really dumb question, but did you guys see anything fall out of the sky? Yeah. We got a call, and one of my partners actually said that they saw it too. So, if you happen to see any, uh, like I'm not BSing you, if you see any. Footage? No, like if you see any, like little, well, not There's little in this couple, case. Um, they're, they're claiming. Down, uh, eight to nine foot tall green beings that were in their backyard. Sounds crazy, but you never know. Uh, the, your neighbors, your fine neighbors over here. Uh, but again, I would normally discount it as probably not These real. neighbors right here? Yes. Uh, I would normally discount it as nothing. However, um, seeing as one of my partners said they saw it too, only reason I'm actually investigating it further. So if you guys see anything, especially in your backyard, please call 911, we'll come over, okay? All we just right. we're, it might wow. and we're hoping that it's maybe just some kids pranking or doing something stupid. They said they saw some fall from the sky. They checked their backyard and they saw something with uh, like eight to nine feet, no clothes, green, green colored men, uh, not human, with uh, like the eyes were glowing and they did not. It was not a human being. So yeah. Uh, just, um, what's up? Yeah, there's multiple people in this home, so we already checked, huh? Uh, more than one. So if you see anything, just uh, give us a call, okay? Hope you have a good night. Take care.
Your neighbors are still going around looking, so. Did you guys have, I'm sorry, no surveillance, no video? The camera don't belong camera, to us. That's from the company camera. So. The post the no, the post, the one of the posts. You know, the, 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 the landlord got a camera on the post here. Over here, I'll show you. Well, no, they don't see it. Yeah, oh, the landlord has it, so they don't have access to it. Oh, okay. Access to it. Yeah, I said, we'll, we'll ATL the area and we'll, we'll be around here for the night. I'm so. going to the hotel, man. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> 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 don't blame you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. 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 All right, man. We appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see I wanted to find some aliens. Well, hey. If those nine foot beings come back into your backyard, you call the police and we'll come back here. Okay? Yeah. If beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't dealing with that. Nobody call NASA. Come up, stop it. I'll drive by and wave at you guys. You're on your own, bro. All right, take care, guys. Have a good one. All right, so let's just regroup over here, okay? Go. Going around and around. I told my neighbor when we saw he's like, no way. He's like, get the security cameras, I gotta see. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. He told me not the uh, police. Uh, before that or after that? She yeah, we, we were on a call by the Target right down there, uh, up in the bonds, and she saw what she thought was a shooting star fly in the sky. She saw something. I don't believe in these things. I don't believe, but mom, I swear to God, so we're not putting God in these, you know? But I don't see it. I know, I, I don't, I, I'm not, I mean, I believe stuff, I don't know, but listening, listening to their stories, like I'm back there with like chills on my arms, like it's creepy. You guys got the chills? Yeah, <laughs> it's weird, bro. Why am I the only one who's like, okay? It's weird. So just the fact that our partner saw something at the same exact time. It's weird. Your neighbors are still going around looking, so. I don't know. Did you guys have, I'm sorry, no surveillance, no video? The camera don't belong to us. That's the camera. the one There's one back there, but it doesn't work. got a camera on the post here. Over here, I'll show you. Uh, yeah, the landlord has it, so they don't have access to it, but right. someone else has access to it. So yeah, like I said, we'll, we'll ATL the area, and we'll, we'll be around here for the night. I'm so. going to the hotel, man. Yeah, <laughs> don't blame you. All right, man. We appreciate you calling. Give us a call if you see anything else, okay? I know. Legit, bro. No, hey. If those, if, those, if those nine foot beings come back, don't call us, all right? Deal with it yourself. That, I ain't dealing with that. <laughs> I'll drive by and wave at you guys. You're on your own, bro. <laughs> yeah. In the bustling heart of Miami last week, shoppers at a popular mall were recently stunned by what appeared to be visitors from another world. This incident has sparked a heated debate. Were these genuine extraterrestrial beings, or just an elaborate stunt? It was an ordinary day at the Miami Central Mall until the unexpected happened. Amidst the regular hustle and bustle, shoppers were brought to a standstill by an extraordinary sight, figures that seemed to be right out of a sci-fi movie, causing a mixture of excitement, confusion, and fear. Witnesses reported seeing several humanoid figures, clad in metallic suits, Walking through the mall, these beings moved with an eerie grace, seemingly exploring their surroundings with curiosity. Videos and photos quickly flooded social media, turning the Miami Mall into an overnight sensation. I couldn't believe my eyes, said Marissa G, a local shopper. They looked like something out of a Hollywood movie, 
but it was all happening right in front of me. This incident has given rise to various theories. Some are convinced that these were actual aliens, citing the figure's unusual attire and movements. Others argue that it was a well-orchestrated publicity stunt or a social experiment. The mall management and local authorities were quick to respond, though they provided no clear explanation. The mall spokesperson stated, We are as baffled as our patrons. We had no scheduled events of this nature. Local police commented that they are looking into the matter, but have not found any evidence of a threat to public safety. Dr. Helen R., a professor of anthropology and expert in human-alien cultural representations, shared her insights. While it's tempting to jump to conclusions, we must approach this with a critical eye. It could very well be a case of sophisticated costuming and performance art designed to create a stir. The community's response has ranged from excitement to skepticism. It's got everyone talking, says local cafe owner. Alex D. People want to believe we're not alone, but others think it's just a prank. As investigations continue, the true nature of the Miami Mall aliens remains a mystery. The explanation, as described by the Miami police, was that approximately 50 teenagers began setting off fireworks towards individuals in the area. This chaotic scene was further complicated by instances of looting, as reported by authorities. Due to the intensity of the situation and the inability of the officers already on site to manage the rapidly unfolding events, a citywide emergency was declared. In the midst of this turmoil, NBC News reported that four teenagers were ultimately apprehended by law enforcement. Yet, the underlying reasons that led to the significant mobilization of police forces remained unclear at the time. Compounding the confusion, amateur footage uploaded online, highlighted by CBS News, hinted at the presence of a large creature near the mall's entrance, adding another layer of intrigue to the already complex situation. Was this a visitation from another world, an elaborate hoax, or something else entirely? This event has certainly left an indelible mark on the city of Miami, igniting imaginations and debates about the possibility of life beyond our planet. As the world watches, waiting for answers, the Miami Mall incident stands as a testament to our eternal fascination with the unknown and the unexplained.